County's Information Technology Department is in the process of getting some much needed upgrades that will not only help the county become more efficient, but will help the county save some money as well. When Chief Information Officer John Matowski began working for the county nearly two years ago, the one thing that drove him to come here was the county's drive for green initiatives. No organization that I've worked for had that focus and, and although we talked a lot about it and those kinds of things and we did a lot of research, we really hadn't done anything tangible that had already done something and done something to the level where they would actually be named as, you know, the top county in that particular area. That to me was just very exciting. The Information Technology Department facilitates all technology needs for county departments and agencies, including parks and recreations, public safety, and county courthouses, all with a staff of approximately 100 personnel. However, the number of servers it takes to keep county operations running on a day-to-day -day basis is nearly double that amount. Approximately 300 uh, servers that have uh, various applications to support all the different uh, agencies and departments across the county. And believe it or not, the county still runs some of its court operations from a mainframe. But John Matowski and his team knew that this needed to change. With we can't be sitting on you know, three and five and seven year old technology. In order for us to continue to provide effective uh, service to our citizens and constituents, we really do need to stay as up to date as possible. That's why IT has been working to reduce the amount of servers from 300 to 30 and eliminate the mainframe to reduce energy usage and maintenance costs. We're going to be able to minimize a lot of costs associated with the support because now that we're not going to have to support 300 servers, we're going to have to only support 30, we can then reallocate our technology staff to do other things uh, uh, to, to, to support uh, the employees and then again in turn uh, who deliver services to our citizens and constituents. The process of reducing the amount of servers is about 60% complete. However, eliminating the mainframe is a tougher challenge, nearly three years in the making. But when the process is complete, it will be a win-win for employees and residents. Being able to go completely away from the mainframe, we will reduce the costs uh, uh, in, internally and then, of course, in turn back to our constituents and citizens by about $475,000 per year. And it will reduce energy usage by 50 percent. That whole process we're hoping to have concluded uh, by the end of next year. This upgrade will ultimately bring DeKalb County's IT department into the 21st century, but the department isn't stopping there. In the future, IT hopes to upgrade the public safety dispatch system and allow for better data sharing across county departments and agencies using an enhanced enterprise content manager. We can't just do something and then put it on the shelf and hope people remember what we did three years ago. We really need to continue to be at that forefront, forefront and continue to drive innovation and be a leader that people can look to. And DeKalb County employees and residents can continue to look forward to greener, more efficient technology now and in the future. I'm Elena Daniel. Let's talk to Cab.